So we're going to make a quick tutorial on how to make a homemade DIY stirring engine. So to do the following, you're going to need a hot glue gun, um, some copper wire. We use some to twine the wire up to make the stands to hold our crankshaft. And then we just use 12 gauge copper wire to make our crank. We used cardboard to make our flywheel. And we have our candles for our heat. We used a hanger for our stand. Got steel wool inside of there for displacement. Got a balloon right here. We got some pens that we're just gonna tear apart to make our stands. And then we have this small piece copper wire goes all the way down inside. So what I did is I just took this wire out of an old transformer from a clock and I quadrupled it up and twisted it and made it into a long strand. So we're going to start off with the can, cut the top off it, you know maybe it's about the height of a soda can now. Take your steel wool and unroll it. Then you can use a small piece of wood. You can cut off the top of a match and just use that. I'm just using a piece of wood. Take your copper wire, wrap it around your wood, twist it all up. Just make sure it's not going to come off. You're going to roll it up in your steel wool. Now we don't want it to be this tall, we're going to cut it. If it's too tight, it won't move at all. So it needs to go up and down. Copper wire, we're going to leave it sticking out for now. Now we're going to build the top of our power piston. We're going to cut the tip off. We're going to take one of our pieces of cardboard, we're going to drop it inside. Like so. Take your hot glue gun, lay some glue down. Glue this cardboard on. And what you're gonna do, flip it inside out. Hold the cardboard so they don't separate. Now you're gonna pull this one off and you're gonna glue this side. Next, you gotta be kinda careful with this because it might take you a few tries. So you need to put the copper wire from your displacement piston through here. So you're gonna find the middle and you're gonna poke a hole in it. And don't make the hole too big because you kinda need a good airtight seal on it. Now you got your wire through and take your balloon, put it around your can. So to bend your crankshaft, you're going to be bending two things. You're going to be making the bend for your displacement piston in the middle, and then on the left and right side, you're going to be making the bends for your power piston. So right here, you're going to make these bends right here to move your piston inside of here, and then these bends controlling the popsicle sticks are going to move your power piston. You're going to take one of your pens and you're going to cut a piece off to put it in the middle. So you want to leave one side a little long because you're going to bend that up and it's going to hold your flywheel in place. And you're going to want to bend it the opposite way of this U-shape for your displacement piston. So if this is up, you want to bend this down like this. So now our connecting rods for our power piston, which we have right here, made them out of cardboard. We're going to slide it on right here. And it's going to hold each side of your power piston. Now we're going to make our stand. I just use a hanger. You can use whatever you want, any type of hardish, straight, solid middle. Now you got your stand. I just braided two 12 gauge copper wires together. So I'm going to use that. So we're going to take two pens, we're going to sacrifice them. Okay, so now we have our crankshaft on here, and it's centered. We're going to glue 
my rod to the side of the power piston. So I pulled the crankshaft to the top of the stroke and I put a little bit of tension on the piston at the top of the stroke. It drops when it goes down to the bottom, comes back up when it gets to the top. Now we're going to put our flywheel on. I'm going to glue the crank. So this is the finished product. I tacked it down to a piece of cardboard. That's it. That's all it takes. The problem with these is the displacement piston and the power piston, they need to work together. And if they don't, they're going to fight each other and it's not going to want to work. So um, this one took a lot of modifications. It took me about six crankshafts to, uh, to get it right. So hopefully uh, by my learning experiences, this one should work. Let's tie it. There she goes, she's spinning. She's moving.